reading songwriting difficulties dyslexia was first introduced 20 years ago when a 9 years old boy named Alexander was asked by his elementary teacher to write about himself. He bravely wrote, Hi, my name is Alexander. I have a blonde hair, blue eyes, and an infectious smile. People tell mom how gorgeous I am, but under the surface, I live in a tunnel. Words look like swingle, and writing stories is a disaster area because of spelling. Alexander's experience is not unique. In fact, his reading and writing difficulties is associated with phonological processing problems. This means that these people face difficulties reading, writing, and manipulating language. For example, giving words in isolation like dyslexia can be difficult to read. Therefore, students tend to often break it into parts such as this, lex, ia. What is dyslexia? Based on the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder DSM-5, reading and writing difficulties, also known as dyslexia, is one of the most common neurodevelopmental disorders that can affect individuals at any age. However, it's most common with children around the age of 10 to 15 years old. One in every three children in a regular elementary school classroom might be affected by dyslexia. At the same time, the disorder is shown to be equal in both male and female. While dyslexia occurs in continuum, when one person shows a severe reaction, the person next to him might have a profound case of it. Lots of molecular genetic linkage studies have shown the linkage between dyslexia and genetic. In fact, a child who has an affected parent with dyslexia has a risk of 60% developing the disorder. This risk can also increase if the other close family member have the disorder by threefold. Environment is also considered to be the other cause of dyslexia. Factors such as socioeconomic status, home environment, and literacy environment, or how early a child is exposed to prints, influences most measures used to establish literacy skills. During our interview with Dr. Elizabeth Service from the Department of Linguistics and Languages at McMaster University, she talked about the proximal causations of reading or writing difficulties. While most individuals living with these reading difficulties are not fully aware of their phonological weaknesses, they also face difficulty mapping sounds and letters. Dr. Service also suggested that in order to fully be aware of these reading or writing difficulties, we should not just look at the visual and speech signs, but also examine area of the brain that is directly associated with short-term memories. Here is a special way the brain of people living with dyslexia works. However, it's important to keep in mind that human brain is very complicated to understand and study. Over the years, several longitudinal studies have led to rise of several important terms associated with dyslexia. One of these terms is called neurodiversity. Neurodiversity refers to the different way that each person encodes specific information within their brain. Therefore, being different from the norm does not necessarily mean any pathological disorders. The brain is divided into two hemispheres. The left hemisphere is generally in charge of language processing and reading, while the right typically handles specific activities such as art drawings. Several neurological studies have shown that people with dyslexia rely more heavily in their right hemisphere than their language processing ones. This means when they try to read a word, it will take longer trip within their brain. The brain is also made of different loops. For example, the Pareto loop is responsible for linking spoken or written language to memory in order to give it meaning so we can understand what we hear and read. In individuals with dyslexia, this area of the brain is less stimulated than individuals without the disorder. Because of this neurobiological glitch, people with dyslexia have a harder time reading words. But this is not the end of the story. Neuroplasticity is another term that refers to the special ability of human brain to wire and rewire itself to cope with certain activities. A recent longitudinal study done at the Melton University in the United States have proven the ability of 5th grade students who suffer from dyslexia to substantially gain reading abilities after 100 hours of intensive instructions and training. As a result of this, treatment options can vary within each individual living with dyslexia. From a privately funded option such as long hour of intensive reading instructions, speech therapy and music therapy, to publicly funded programs such as Tumulatory Multisensory Teaching Programs, STM for short, that is often sponsored by the Canadian Dyslexia Association. Despite the reading or writing problems that dyslexia presents, 
There is many people who have been diagnosed with dyslexia, yet led a very successful lives. Steven Spielberg is an American director, producer and screenwriter. He is also known to be the best director of all times. He had dyslexia his entire life and he found it very difficult to read while growing up. In order to combat these challenges, Spielberg has invested his time in two viral life mottos. One, always being proud to be a misfit. Two, nothing comes in the way of your passion. In the end, in order to fully understand dyslexia, we need to not only view their life through their eyes, but also try to understand their brains. Many people have gone on becoming very successful despite being dyslexic. There are ways to get around and ways to improve. You just need to be determined and things will look better.